All right, guys, this is Pokemon Pocket. This is my free-to-play experience for the first five days. Just to show you what I've got in five days. And if you guys are free-to-play players, what you can expect. So this is without any re-rolls or without any um, money spent. We haven't even bought like the premium pass that you get for free. Uh, and we also decided to go into one pack only. We went into the genetic Apex pack. Uh, they're all genetic Apex, but uh, we went into the Pikachu pack. So let's go and open up one more pack while we're here just to see what we can pull before we go and get into everything. And then we do have a wonder pick here as well. So I'll just go with the first one. Uh, you can open like packs backwards, which is really cool. Pinsir, Wigglytuff, Voltorb. Clawbopus, a Jolteon. A second Jolteon is actually pretty nice for me. And we just got up to level 9 there. So you can see we got to level 9 so far with our packs. So pretty cool. Uh, we also have the... We go over here. Oh, there you go. We got. We can open up another pack. But we got the Wonder Pack here. We have two to use. So I'm going to go ahead and try out uh, you know, a Flareon could be cool. The Optile Electric Buzz is nice. Ooh, a second Gyarados could actually be pretty good. Let's see if we can pull this one. It also is kind of nice to save sometimes as well. Ooh, three for Diglett. Um, uh, we'll go and use the two though. Let's see if I can get the Gyarados. Uh, so yeah, when you do the wonder pick here, you just randomly pick. I've always picked the one on the top right. The top right has never worked for me. Let's see if we get a Gyarados here. <laughs> and now it does, now that we're doing it on uh, camera. So that's my second Gyarados, which is nice. Collect the 250 card. So you can see there we're at 250. Here are the cards we collected. 250's Ho-Oh's national dex number. So yeah, I'll go and get into every card I've collected here as well. 102 registered, nice. So like I said, we've only used the, um, we've only used the Pikachu one, so I haven't opened any, I think I do one Mewtwo pack for like the mission or whatever. We've done all the missions here. We have one more pack. I'm gonna open up that last pack while we're here because uh, we have the 10 boost. I'm not gonna use my Poke Gold, but I will use the Hourglasses. I don't know if Poke Gold will be like worth more or not, so I'm just gonna keep it uh, while we, because <laughs> it potentially could be worth something in the future. Uh, anything good in this pack? Nope. Sand slash sand true, but you can see you level up. So I'm level nine. Um, but yeah, let's go and get into our collection, our free to play experience. So there was one card I was really wanting to get through. And just so you guys know, um, I believe if you go to, uh, you can see here, uh, when we go to the packs, if, like if I go to the Pikachu pack, you see we have 210 points. So every time you open a pack, I believe it gives you 10, pa 10 points. So I think I've opened about 21 Pikachu packs. Uh, so that's... And a lot of these you need to open. I want to get like I have the I have Blastoise EX, but I want to get Pikachu EX. I think Pikachu EX is really nice. It's five hundred uh, for Pikachu, and I believe can you get the the super like cool Pikachu one? Uh, it would be twelve fifty for like a full art EX. So that's um. 120.5 packs, I believe. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be quite a bit. But I, I haven't pulled a Pikachu EX, any of them, like just a rare or a normal. So I'll probably keep saving packs up for that. But yeah, let me go and get into my collection. We do have some cool ones. Nothing like super super crazy pulled, but uh, some nice ones. I, I recently actually got some stuff here, so you can see here. This is the one, so you automatically get Arcanine EX and the Squirtle uh, when you choose the Pikachu pack, and you get the Rapidash uh, structure deck or starter deck. 
So we have Rapidash and Ponyta. You can see here, uh, my first, one of my first EX was Blastoise EX. I think this was my second EX card actually. So we do have a Blastoise EX. Um, we recently got Gyarados. You guys saw we pulled that Gyarados. Um, that's not the one that was like, it's just a normal Gyarados, but it's cool, it's cool. Uh, you can see all the collection here as well. I wonder if it tells you how many packs I'm like, how many, how many of like the Pikachu pack I pulled. Um, we got Wigglytuff EX. This was my first EX pulled. So I, I can have a Tain of Flare here. I was wondering how you get that. Uh, how do you get this? Flares can be exchanged by the following items. Duplicate shards or shine dust. Oh, so that's how you get a flare. Uh, so I need a duplicate card and 720 shine dust. And I don't have the duplicate flare. Alright, I'm learning that now at least. I did not know that. Uh, this is the one I pulled today. I pulled the Gyarados uh, with an Eevee, which was really cool. So this came today, which was nice. So uh, this was from the start, the Squirtle. Yes, I pulled this Eevee right here with the Gyarados back to back. So that's like really cool. Uh, probably my best pack by far, as you guys can see. Um... I do want to see if I click on the pack, does it show me how close I am to the collection of the pack? Like if I went to like pack contents or anything? Offering rates, does it show me what I own? Uh, I don't think so. Well, I guess I can check here, right? But it doesn't tell me. I'm sure if I go to... Maybe the binder or something? Binder. Create new. Maybe not. I guess it doesn't show. But yeah, so that's my progress on Pokemon Pocket. Um, so one of the things, like, I'll show you my decks here as well. Like, I'm just, they're pretty basic. I haven't, like, been able to build, like, a crazy good deck. Because I feel like um, pro this might be, like, my best one here. I got the second Gyarados now, so two Magikarp, two Gyarados would actually go pretty crazy. And I think I have a second Magneton as well, or you have two Magneton and I need one more Magnemite. So I'm like using a Water Electric deck. I got a second Jolteon as well, so we get the two like two Eevees, two Jolteons now. Um, so yeah, this one was going decent. Um, and then the rest are just like auto decks, so... <laughs> I haven't pulled, I, I feel like it is going to be rough to be free to play, but um, did the more, you'll eventually be able to have the packs and stuff, like eventually through the pity system. So it just feels like the pity system, I, I thought the pity system would be a little bit better, and then eventually uh, one more thing is that trades are going to come. Uh, so we'll see how trades will work, hopefully they're going to be nice. Uh, I've done some battle. I don't think there's a way to see your battle record, but I, I've been only going like versus the beginners. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like there's a match history. So let me see if there's anything in the items. So you can see I have nine non paid Poke Gold. I'm going to keep the Poke Gold. I'm not going to spend it because I think it might be the most valuable resource. Of course, it's. Uh, not p free it's not paid but it, it still think it'd be pretty good uh gifts are just like from uh, getting that so yeah that's my overall pokemon pocket experience hope it helped and if you are thinking of joining the game 